Well, the Prime Minister of the Bahamas is calling Hurricane Dorian the greatest national crisis in the country's history. With thousands of homes destroyed, airports underwater, and at least seven confirmed deaths, Brittany McGraw talked with a pilot mountain man who is in the Bahamas right now who described the situation as catastrophic. All you can see are miles of destruction and devastation in some parts of the Bahamas. To be in the middle of it, it's one of the most uh, horrifying and really tragic experiences. And Joe Oliver, a marine biologist from North Carolina, now living and working in the Bahamas. It's uh, pretty epic, but we're still good. Has seen Dorian's wrath firsthand. This is video he took this morning. The winds are still gusting upwards of 60, 70 miles an hour. Joe is on Grand Bahama Island, and these satellite images show the island before and after the storm. The yellow lines you see where land used to be before Dorian's flooding. Trees are down everywhere. Rainwater. Joe says he's been through hurricanes before, but nothing like this. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, and granted, these islands are very low lying, and Grand Bahama has probably fought. For, uh, fared a little better than the Abacos, but uh, there's catastrophic is the only word to describe it. He says while the focus will turn to rebuilding and recovery, right now for many, their focus is simply on surviving. The biggest thing that we need right now, um, unfortunately, is help that can't get here yet because the storm is still in the way. Brittany McGraw, WXII 12 News.